Hello and welcome. Bringing you all the action today from TMHBA Stadium. And with me is Melbourne great Gary Lyon. Great to be here, Hutto. Can't wait for the start of this one. For today's match, we have Geelong and Adelaide. Full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. Both forward lines are in for a big day here. This could be a high-scoring affair, and both sides would want to make the most of their chances inside field. the field as the crowd begins to roar I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today good call Hutto the captains prepare for the toss of the coin Adelaide wins the toss. Round three. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. What an exciting matchup we have here today. And here we go. It's Geelong taking on the Crows. Uses the bump. Does well to get it out. Phillips just threw it. Decides to kick. Kirk marks in a bit of space. She has the ball. Hits the target by hand. Kirk throws the ball away. They can create from this. Picked off the deck. McDonald dismisses her opponent with disdain. Terrific mark there. A low stabbing kick. They chase after the loose ball. Ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. McDonald drives it out of the pack. Phillips pushes her opponent off with one hand, and she stepped over the boundary line. Looks like we'll have a throw in. Ball back into play. One down by Boyd. Is in her possession. Cramey goes by hand. The umpire will ball it up. Thumps it clear. Phillips just dismisses McDonald. Phillips will be the recipient of the free. Phillips sends one up towards the wing. Randall runs after the ball. Just dismisses her opponent. Finds this and marks well. Slams it on the boot. Good mark, and looks to send it back. Van der Heuvel puts it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. 40 metres from home. Move it on. We are yet to see a score in this one. Goes through for a behind. The margin is one. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Marinoff wins the ball in the air. Goes by foot. Jones marks it. Moves the ball by foot. Both sides are set up really well defensively early. Mules just threw it. Webster moves it now.
The first term is over, and it's Geelong in the lead. Geelong could have to be happy with that first term. Well, not a lot of goals to start this game. Both sides really struggling up forward. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Geelong have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Thanks. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Punches it clear. She has the ball. She's got the football now. McKinnon just threw it. Puts boot to ball. Couldn't complete the mark. Hurried kick. Kick by Phillips. Collects the loose ball. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. The scores are tied. Searching for a teammate. Marked by Kirk. Uses it by foot. Finds a bit of room to mark. She spears the ball. Good mark there. Sinks the slipper into it. Ball collected. Hits the post, and it's a minor. Brown to kick it in. Plays on. With a driving kick. Darby marks uncontested. Moves it by foot. It's a foot race to get this one. Gone! What a tackle! Couldn't see off Ole. Fantastic pressure there. Get on. Going for goal number one. Hits the post, and it's a behind. Adelaide with a handy break. They lead Geelong. Three to one. Brown decides to go herself. Moves the ball out of defence. Dug it out. O'Connor just gets it out of the boot. Boy didn't mark it. Just leaves them in her wake. Great goal. Gets some reward for her efforts. She's kicked the first goal. Center bounce. Thump clear. Has it now. Finds a way around the tackler. Gets it out of congestion. A race for the loose ball. My ball, says the umpire. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Picks up the loose ball. Use the hands and gives away the free. Randall drives the kick. A mark by Campbell. Adelaide are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Van Hagen couldn't snaffle it. Drives the kick hard. Takes a simple grab. Pumps the ball long. Takes a nice mark. Phillips uses it by foot. A strong mark in the pack from Considine. Slams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Campbell kicks it. Marinoff leading the race to the loose ball. With the ball now. With a driving kick. Marks all alone. Adelaide could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Gehring just put it on the boot. Takes a strong mark. Great mark in the pack. Goes by foot. Spills the mark. Links with hands. Opportunity for Gehring. Campbell throws the ball away. Got boot to ball. Finding the loose ball was Allen. Gets her first possession of the match. Clears the contest. Puts it on the boot. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Goes with the kick. Taking a nice grab. Elects to kick. Takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. 
Good body work to win the mark. Goes for territory. A chance to reload the attack now. Adelaide haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. Geelong trailing by eight at halftime. It's been a promising first half for Adelaide. They'd be confident they can keep it going in the second half. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. Adelaide have been terrific at finding space to move the ball. Their ability to find a player in space is first class and it sees them in charge. Much appreciated, Gaz. With so much on the line, I'm looking forward to this second half. Second half action about to commence. Umpire ready to resume play. McKinnon got a fist to it. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. McKinnon thumps it forward. McDonald looks in need of a spell. Unfortunately, lets them down there. Adelaide starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 10 to 1. Play on. Out on the full. Out the full. So what can Adelaide do with this opportunity in front of goal? Big kick required from this distance. Foley is going to need a good kick to put it through here. She drives it towards goal. Can't quite sneak through. And only a behind. Adelaide doing well at the moment. Brown unsure of the next move. Radzic missed an opportunity to mark. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Foley looking to put through another goal. It's somehow pitched over the line and it's a goal. They get around her after that effort. Adelaide have kicked the last two goals. The lead is now 16. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Geelong can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. McDonald releases the ball quickly onto the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Campbell has resources out wide. Phillips gets in a good position. She's in charge of the ranking points. She's having a fantastic game. Van Hagen gets a quick kick away. Marino gains some territory. Slams it onto the boot. McDonald quickly out of the boot. Just sends it into space. The mark has been taken. Foley looks to build some momentum with this kick. 20 metres out. Lining up now. Directly in front. Going for goal number three. Foley enjoying that goal. Adelaide have three in a row. The lead is now 22. Kerr clears the contest. Just got the hands in the back there. Punches the kick. McDonald grabs that one. Stabs at the kick. Just goes bang. Purcell failing to get near it, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to her and give her some instructions. Collects the loose ball. No issues with that drop pass. Goal number four with that kick. She acknowledges the crowd. 
Adelaide by 28. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Back in the middle to resume play. Kirk with the punch. Breaks through the tackle. Sweeping handball. Is in her possession. The umpire pays deliberate. Interesting call. Moves it by foot. A clean pickup. She gets her hands on the footy. Hatcher puts on a big hit. Mules. Soccer's a kick. Scoops up the ball. Jones coming on. Ball up called. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Adelaide, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. Couldn't quite with the mark. Finds a way to goal along the ground. Ivy loves that goal. Back in the middle now. Kirk with the hit. Purcell hacking it out of there. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Uses it now. Ends up marking uncontested. The kick from Jones. Radzic determined to reach the ball. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Chips it towards half forward. Mills works onto that ball. Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if... Just through the ball. How did you see the third term, Gaz? Adelaide will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Adelaide are conceding more inside 50s at the moment. The difference is when they go forward, they're converting more of their chances, and that sees them on top. Cheers, Gaz. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. With the ball is McDonald. She gains the possession. The ball spells the Darby. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Uses it by foot. Taylor controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Marks now and can send it back. Sinks the slipper into it. She can't hold the mark. Didn't get away from that tackle. Fantastic tackle. Didn't disguise that well enough. It's been called deliberate. McDonald sends one up towards the wing. I don't believe it. What a mark. That's true, Hutto. Looks up with the kick. The loose ball picked up. Gets a quick kick away. Winning the ball in the air was Marinov. <laughs> Phillips soccers it forward. Just gets a boot to it. She likes her chances from here. Pretty happy with that one. 28 points the difference. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Considine gets the loose ball. Well collected. Finding the ball with ease. Wins the race to the ball. Handball's under pressure. Has a player running for her. Daring heads onto the ground. We'll have another ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Cramey will be the recipient of the free. Finds this one all by herself. Moves the ball by foot. A good mark under the circumstances. Adelaide are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. 50 metres out. 
They can just slow the game down now, take a bit of time off the clock. She heads for home. There'll be a ball up, close to goal. Thumped by Cramey. She drives it towards goal. Adelaide leads Geelong by 29. Brown plays on. Clears the danger for now. She takes aim. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. A spearing kick. A chance to reload the attack now. 50 metres from home. She locks her chances from here. She shanked it. She puts it out on the full. Brown spears the ball. Takes the mark all by herself. Now with a low spearing kick. Can't take possession. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She's barely touched the ball lately. A strong pack mark. Ball gets cut off. Gehring throws the ball away. Jones elects to kick. Finds a target. Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. 50 metres out. Foley will have the shot on a slight angle. Going for goal number one. Misses everything with that kick. The kick goes out on the full from Foley. Brown with a drilling ball. Unbelievable! Put that down for mark of the year! Adelaide just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. She got up high, but couldn't bring it down. Drop punt straight through the middle. She celebrates hard after that. Adelaide with the ascendancy over Geelong, leading 42 to 7. Swats it. Geelong in a bit of trouble. Adelaide just know how to play together. It's been a solid team performance and they can reap the rewards. Final scores are 6-6-42 six, six, to 1-1-7. One, one, That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It was great being here, Hutto. I can't wait for the next match.